This past weekend, thousands of people made the trip to McCormick Place to attend the 2016 Chicago Auto Show. This was the 108th year the show has taken place, and this year, the public was treated with nearly a thousand different vehicles. For viewers like Jason Reynolds, the displays were quite the spectacle. Every brand has brought out you know, their best and really enjoy seeing all the new, the new stuff that they've got to offer. It seems like there's just a, a larger sampling of cars. Uh, the displays are definitely more in depth. There's a lot more to the displays. I think just with the amount of people that would come out for Chicago, you've got to bring your best with this type of show in this type of a market, so and they do. Some of the most crowded lines at the show were centered around more interactive virtual reality exhibits. One of the most popular interactive exhibits was the Ford Performance Simulator, known as Simzilla, which simulates a lap of racing on the Le Mans racetrack in France. I think the, the Ford GT, uh, the, the interactive setup that they had with the uh, simulator that simulates actually going a lap around the track in the GT, that was incredible. There were tons of people that are around it and an hour wait to, to enjoy it. So when you bring that type of interactive type of setup to uh, an auto show, I think that it gets people interested in uh, the make and model of your car. This is the what we call the closest way to race in the Ford GT without actually spending the money to go out to the track and to do it. It gives the adults the opportunity as well as the kids to just kind of uh, get their feet wet, and, you know, have a good time, not necessarily actually finish the race in some spots, uh, but they're definitely having a good time when they do it. With these exhibits, Many of the attendees had the opportunity to interact with the vehicles in a more hands-on and engaging way. People love to get on the car, love to see how it works too. You know how people are sometimes visual, so they like to see how it just runs and all that stuff. Uh, I've had many people say, you know, when I ask them how the show is going, they go, I don't know, this is the first thing we did. We got right in line and have been waiting for it. With Medill News, I'm Zach Wingrove.